Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're going to do a video today on black walnut trees. A little bit about how to grow them, but specifically what types of plants grow with black walnuts. Because black walnuts secrete a, uh, you could call it a poison, but really it's a chemical that helps prevent other plants from thriving in that area. It's great for the walnut trees, not so great for the tr trees and shrubs that are affected by it. Uh, I did want to show you, this is the natural range of walnuts. They grow throughout North America. America, not so much in Canada, not so much in Mexico either. Um, they are susceptible to deep, heavy frost. But I, I'm going to link to all these pages in the description, but I wanted to show you this on this page. This is, is the spacing. For timber production, you want to get them a lot closer together. And as you can see, up to seven, 800 trees per acre. It's not uncommon. You're going to thin that out as the trees grow, of course, but the reason why I'm so close together is for the nice, tall, straight lumber. For nut production and timber production, space them out a little bit further. For agroforestry, which is combining, you know, perm well, permaculture methods, growing both trees for lumber and food, but also other types of crops as well, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, uh, these are some of the plants affected by plant you know some are resistant like cherry and crab apple hawthorn those are all edible elms of course will grow mushrooms underneath them but the allopathic properties of walnut will prevent most mushrooms from forming so don't expect to see morel mushrooms underneath walnuts even if there is an elm planted there locust is of course a nitrogen fixer all of which are very good for permaculture wild grape is good for vines and black raspberry but there's a lot more plants than just those listed here but, of course, some of the ones you want to avoid, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, the nightshade family, uh, blackberries. Black raspberries okay, but blackberries are not. Some viburnums are okay, like a maple leaf viburnum, but high bush cranberry is not. So we're going to go to two more lists. The Penn State Extension has a great list, extensive list, but talking about uh, edible uh, for the uh, understory trees, you want to do pawpaws, maybe service berries, but you can also get service berries as a shrub, depending on you know the uh, variety. A few more here. Uh, Catalpa, I believe, has some edible seeds, but not that much. Staghorn sumac has some edible berries and medicinal barks. Hawthorn, uh, medicinal berries. Not, they, I think they're a little bit bitter for my taste. Um, let's see here. A few other ones. Viburnum. The viburnums are great. Honey locusts, again, it's a nitrogen-fixing plant, so very important. One thing I did notice in uh, my own farm is sunchokes, or Jerusalem artichokes, seem to grow very well under walnuts, even if they don't get a lot of sunlight. So there are a lot of great edible plants that can be grown with black walnut. Witch hazel is mostly medicinal. Uh, again, the maple leaf and Korean spice viburnum spice bush also grows under um, black walnut, elderberries, currants. So there are a lot of options and some vegetables for annual production. Onion. If you want another, uh, you know, permaculture is all about layers and the underground layer or the tuber layer, maybe you grow some onions. Uh, sunchokes again. Or uh, the spring beauty is also another sort of tuber that can grow under walnut. Beans and corns, parsnips, carrots, squash and melons, beets. They can all grow under that. Fruit trees, you can have some cherry trees, some nice understory cherry trees or peach trees, plums, and nectarines, or the keens. All right, wild grape again. Not too many vines that grow under walnut. A lot of these are repeated on uh, this list here, but I like to have two different sources. Just you know, Sometimes there's conflicting reports on what grows under black walnut. So... Um, I'm going to link to all these pages in the description so you can read more about it. Um, also, persimmon, great for permaculture crops, good fruit, nice and tasty. Uh, you know, lots of different options. So if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.